In this video, we're going to be testing out Rinky's Privacy Tempered Glass for the brand new iPhone 16 Pro Max. We're going to be doing the full installation. We're going to see how it fits, how it feels. And stick with me until the end of the video because I will also be doing a drop and a scratch test to see how durable the screen protector is. And by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not the screen protector is right for you. So let's get started. So here we get a couple cleaning kits. We get an installation guide with the tempered glass and a refill for the guide. So first we need to clean off our screen with the alcohol wipe, then dry off the screen, then use your dust sticker to remove any dust. Then we're going to take our screen protector, making sure that the screen protector stays inside of this guide because it, it does seem to want to kind of come out prematurely. So just make sure that these, these little holes are over the little posts on the guide here. Just kind of press those down in place. Okay, then once that's done, we're going to take this whole guide and we're going to press it down over, to, over the top of your phone just like that, making sure that the top signifier is going towards the camera on your phone. Then we're going to hold the guide down with one hand. You don't have to press very hard, just make sure it stays in place. And we're going to pull out this little tab here. Then press and slide your finger over the top. And it should start to adhere to the screen as you can see it's doing right now. That's pretty cool. Very nice. And then once that's done, we can kind of lift up on the guide here. Then we'll take a look at our installation. That looks perfect. Oh, I see just a couple little bubbles down at the bottom here. Use our squeegee to try to get that out. And that that's great. Seems like the, the most perfect installation that I've done yet. Screen looks really nice. Now this is also a full coverage screen protector as well. It does cover your sensors, but it's got a little cutout for our camera on the top here. And it looks like there's a couple little bubbles left at the top that I need to kind of squeegee out. There we go. Okay. Now it's looking good. As far as touch, super smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. The edges... They do seem to be rounded off, but be a little bit sharp at the top and at the bottom. A little better on the edges. But as you can see, the front camera is crystal clear. Don't see any issues there. And I do have my brightness up all the way because with the tempered glass, it does dull the screen down a little bit. So you might have to turn up your brightness. But as you can see, the face ID is working perfectly fine. It's nice and clear, touch working fine also. And as far as fingerprints, it does pick up some smudges on the screen, but you can very easily just wipe those away. No issues. So now let's take a look at our screen as if we were looking at it through polarized sunglasses. As you can see, there is a slight rainbow effect, and it doesn't really seem like you can get away from it. So no matter where you're looking at it, the screen might get a tad bit better, but well, it could get a little worse. But that's pretty much looking at it dead on. It's not horrible. I've seen a lot worse. So now let's take a look at the a light bleed from the edges of the screen. Take a closer look here. You can see that there is like a white, the white line, which is the light bleed from the edge of the screen protector. And on the other side, it's there too. So you can see it kind of light up that edge. That's pretty cool actually. Seems like all the screen protectors pretty much have this light bleed issue. 
except for just one. So now the cool thing about the privacy screen is if you're looking at it dead on, you can see exactly what's on the screen. But if you tilt it to the side, you can see that the screen, it looks like it, it just disappears. And that's either way. That's pretty cool. But if you look at the screen up and down, the screen doesn't disappear. It's only to the sides. There also does seem to be a very slight gap all the way around the screen, so it may or may not be compatible with the case you're going to be using it in, but we're going to try it out with a rinky case. And it seems like it fits the rinky cases just perfectly. It all, like, there's just a very slight gap at the bottom of the screen and at the top and on the side so it's just it's like perfectly fit no lifting no bubbles anywhere so even though it fits the rinky cases you're gonna have to try it out with your case because it may or may not fit but so far so good so now that we've tested all that out let's move on to the scratch and the drop test so now we're going to be dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of two feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go at two feet. Moving on to three feet. Four feet. Four feet. So this screen protector lasted up until a four foot drop and that seems to be the trend this year so far. But now let's move on to the scratch test. So regular tempered glass starts to scratch around a Mohs hardness number six. So we're gonna start off with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six. And then finally a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are deeper at a number six and about the same at a number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was probably the easiest so far. It may or may not be case friendly with most cases. It lasted up until a four foot drop and scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So I think this screen protector performed pretty well. It lasted up until a four foot drop. Installation again was super easy. Probably the easiest time that I've had installing a screen protector yet. The only issue is, is it may or may not be case friendly with the case that you're gonna use, but the only way to test it is to actually try it out yourself. So if you guys do wanna pick this up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel. If you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.